Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. Let me move the camera back a little bit. Of course, any information you need to book a personal reading will be listed below in the description box. Uh, thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes as well. And just for the overall support, I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you want to see future videos, definitely make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a beat. But let's go ahead and see what's going on here for the next 72 hours, please. So the situation at hand, we have the seven of pentacles here in reverse. So you're at a point to where you don't want your time to be wasted. You could also, you could be finally coming out of a state of reviewing your situation from all angles and just trying to make sense of what your next plan of action is going to be and with the seven of pentacles in reverse you could be deciding to not give your energy to certain things anymore that takes away from your focus that takes away from you being driven or in the right direction okay you're also starting to realize like what is a big waste of your time in terms of like entertainment maybe you spend too much time consuming the wrong type of stuff or this looks different for each and every one of you but no longer wanting to waste potential no longer wanting to waste opportunity is the situation that you guys are in and no longer wanting someone to waste your time now we also have the four of wands so stability is on your mind especially for my aries who are trying to become entrepreneurs or actually entrepreneurs okay could be trying to buy a new home I see that family, a marriage, home life as a whole could be a huge focus. Okay, some of you guys could be celebrating some really good news pretty soon as well. Or during this time frame, there could be some news to celebrate. I also have the page of Pentacles. So the situation at hand, you guys are realizing that you have the opportunity to make even more money to connect with people who you're even more compatible with. But there's a need for you to realize it and actually like try to materialize these opportunities instead of being caught up in your current circumstance so much. Now, what is the challenge for Aries over the next 72 hours? So you have the four of cups. So maybe you don't like certain things. Maybe you don't like the way the communication is between you and a love interest. Maybe you don't like certain things that are happening at work. There's just clear things that you're able to point out and say, mm, I'm not really feeling that. And if you're not careful, some of you could be so caught up in what you don't like about your situation that you could be ignoring clear as day the opportunity spirit is trying to give you. Okay, some of you guys also may have to reject someone and it could be difficult to have that conversation or accepting rejection as a whole. Maybe you feel rejected or maybe you feel like you're not desired because someone's not taking the relationship between you two serious or it could be making you feel like you're being taken advantage of. Also, I have the temperance card. So the, the another challenge that could be here is patience and letting your spiritual team do the work behind the scenes. Some of you could just be very impatient. Okay, clear, <laughs> clear Aries energy showed up in this reading with this being in the challenge position. But the challenge is remaining patient. The challenge is remaining in a peaceful place while knowing that things are happening behind the scenes that you can't see to bring you to more of a balanced place. Okay. Another challenge could be that you and someone just may not energetically be a match. And it could be like almost trying to force something to be an energetic match where there may not be. This could be with a Sagittarius, specifically Aquarius. It doesn't have to be those zodiac signs. But the last challenge card with the star card, it could be remaining optimistic. You could have some days 
where of course the negative thoughts want to creep up on you you could be someone who has taken a lot of time out to heal and you have certain triggers that could be trying to take you backward so trying to remain hopeful trying to remain positive trying to stay on track and resist temptation to go backward could be the challenge now when it comes to the advice what's the advice for aries for the next 72 hours so we have the moon card so not worrying not allowing your worry or fear of the unknown to cripple you stunt your growth stop you from getting to where you need to go also where there is clearly secrets or thing, things hidden from you when it comes to other people, do not be naive to ignore any shadiness or any, you know, untrustworthy people who you, you know, in the past have, have maybe recognized certain patterns with. I also have the King of Wands. So... This is focusing on yourself during this time frame. Over the next 72 hours, your ability to be in control of your actions, give your attention or focus to the correct things is going to determine how this time frame plays out for you. And the last the advice the last advice card, excuse me, I have the judgment card. So the last piece of advice if anything does resurface during this time frame, really think things through in terms of how things could be done differently this time. If it is something you should uh, entertain again, like the whole nine yards and any personal epiphanies too that you could have during this time frame, really listen to what these personal epiphanies are trying to tell you because it could be your spiritual team communicating with you via like dreams or Shoot, you could even have conversations with other people and there could be certain epiphanies or realizations that you could be unlocking. But really listening. Okay, now looking at your love life, first card we have is the Two of Pentacles. So when it comes to love, there could be somebody who you're not that sure about. There could be some ups and downs in the communication or the connection itself. You could be having multiple options and trying to choose between one or the other or dealing with somebody who could have multiple options and trying to choose between one or the other. Okay, there could be some strong pros or cons with someone that you're dating as well. And that could be something that you're trying to take in consideration. For my singles, your love life could just seem kind of up and down. There could be a situation that's kind of in limbo and this desire for new love, but having to make up your mind essentially, okay? I also have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, a lot of you could be deciding to detach yourself from a particular love interest, from entertaining love, period. Okay, you could be wanting understanding, clarity, could be feeling like you need a conversation to be had between you and someone to understand their mind and the way that they're thinking okay just seems like you guys are more so processing things during this time frame and i also got the ten of cups so yeah some of you want to work out your relationship with the person you may have children with or with the person who you deem to make you truly happy but there's things that may need to be discussed may need to be sorted out before you guys could reach that point of like being with this person and, and fully being content within that relationship. So yeah, some of you guys are mainly going to be choosing your happiness <laughs> over the next couple of days or so. I did see that strongly. Now, when it comes to career and finances, Aries, what does that look like for the next 72 hours? So we got the Queen of Swords again. So I see you guys being very realistic and logical around how you're handling your money and your finances. You could also be realizing the reality of you needing to either build multiple streams of income or needing to be serious about your businesses or your endeavors in terms of your career. There could be a plan that you're trying to stick to as well to get yourself ahead. I also have the Knight of Pentacles. So... Yeah, I see you guys slowly but surely saving money, 
making progress within your career. The next three days could be a great time for you to take the time out to examine like the little details with a business. Okay, taking the time out to reevaluate like maybe certain spending habits. Okay. I also have the death card. So some of you do feel like this strong desire to maybe transition into a different career path. Or if we're talking about finances, you may have the strong desire to change your financial situation, especially if things feel like it's been really, really slow um, financially for you. So I do see little subtle changes you guys could be making that in the long term could be helping you be on the path towards real financial stability. So these are just some of the things that I see. I want to pull one last card. What is the overall message for Aries for the next 72 hours? So the card we have, scrying, which represents intuition. So this is a time where you don't need to be questioning what you already know to be true or on an intuitive level you can pick up on especially when it comes to people around you if your intuition is screaming at you in certain ways make sure you're not disregarding it okay but this is what i see i wish you the best of luck and i will talk to you later aries